After several years as one of the leading public road transport service providers in Kenya, the firm popularly known as Akamba Bus finally went under when a group of minority shareholders successfully got court orders to wind it up. KTN met the beleaguered executive chairman of the firm to find out where the rain started beating the once prestigious Akamba Bus Company. After nearly 50 years as one of Kenya's leading public transport companies, Akamba Public Road Transport Services, or just Akamba as it was popularly known, has shut its doors officially. The five decades of the company was on Monday brought to an end when a high court judge granted a group of minority shareholders the go ahead to wind up the firm. Put down by debt and stiff competition from emerging public transport firms, Karim says the problems of the company started with the death of the family patriarch in 2002. This was followed by unending management squabbles that could not let it match up to the competition in the market. But even with its case seemingly sealed, the firm says it will still endeavor to meet its part of the bargain to the over 300 employees it had, as well as creditors that they owe money. But while Karim seems optimistic, the firm's asset had already by June started falling to the hammer of the auctioneers. One of its properties in Nairobi's industrial area, which used to house its storage and workshop sheds, was sold in a public auction to Nails and Steel Products Company Limited for 130 million shillings by the KCB Group. 